Scandinavian coffee is made by brewing an entire egg in the inside. This is water, but I'm about to show you how it's made. The first thing we go do is bring one cup of water to a boil. Cause people act like whether you bring your water to a boil or a simmer, it's go make a difference. Well, it could possibly make a difference, but I'm the one making the difference. But I'm only making this for demonstration purposes. So you could use whatever kind of coffee that you want, but it works best with medium or coarse grain grind. Now this is the part right here that I know is gonna take a lot of people weave and turn it into a lace front. I'm going in with one fourth cup of that coffee. And on top of my witch's brew, you see how it's it's starting to bubble. Oh, tall in trouble. Don't you worry now, we go circle back to that. But our main prerogative is to get our coffee grounds mixed up with our egg yolk. Now I'm gonna take the eggshell and we're gonna put it inside of this thing that nobody actually knows what it's called. You need to crush it till it's still standing, just not a chance. Put the cracked egg inside of the cracked egg. This is the book, this is the cover. Don't judge the book. Mm -hmm. Whiskey whiskey, ooh. Whoa. Now I have this special whisk. Whisk this together until it becomes like a thick, blurry situation that looks like chewed up Oreos. Street tar. Let's go ahead and get this water back to an infection. That's a boil. I'm gonna reduce the heat. Make sure you get all of that good egg Scandinavian scam the Navy coffee. I would scam the Navy if I was in it. I'm gonna stir this slightly just so y'all can forget that I just said something that didn't even make sense. Now I wanna show y'all something because it's starting to coagulate. Congratulations, you have now experienced coffee coagulation. We got our five minute timer set. When that five minutes is done and it finished boiling, we're gonna add a cup of cold water because this cold water is gonna further help with the coagulation process. Perfect. Look how disgusting that looks. Right. Normally at this point, people would use a cheese cloth. I'm gonna use a food strainer because that's all that I own. Ew. Ew. I can't wait to show y'all. What we just did with the Scandinavian coffee was take the proteins that's inside of this egg and put it underneath heat. When proteins get underneath heat, they break apart and form a new shape. The proteins that's inside of this egg, when heated, they actually form a net. And that net traps all of the particles inside of coffee that makes it acidic and bitter. This is a clarification process that a lot of us might not be used to, but it's supposed to leave the coffee with a smoother, less harsh taste. This is the same coffee. This one was brewed in the same way, except I didn't use the egg in cold water for the clarification process. The eggs allow for more of the grounds to be caffeinated versus boiling it without the proteins coagulating. But nobody actually cares about that Scandinavia. How does it taste? Let me take out my teeth and as I do this, let me know who got beef. Oof. Uh, give me a new tongue. Okay, let's try some Scandinavian coffee because this is not, my whole tongue stank. Wow. This is very much so drinkable. This is for people who smoke six packs of cigarettes a day. If you wanna drink your coffee black without the added milk and everything, the egg clarification process makes this coffee way more digestible on the palate. It's super smooth. I'm gonna give this a 10, especially if you don't like the taste of coffee and you only like the effect that it provides. Less acidic coffee experience. Monk fruit sweetener, pumpkin spice milk. Yes. I would much rather. I would much rather Scandinavian coffee. Bone app a titty, for sure.